Hey guys, welcome back. I bring you the death and destruction that is Dust Tox. And um, basically, I made this deck because a, per a while back, I gotta look in the comics, but I'll mention in the description. Um, somebody requested a, a Crowbat Wildfit, kind of like guideline or something. But um, Crowbat Wildfit is kind of like a. It's a Phantom Forces deck. And I'm, I'm kind of st sticking to just Roaring Skies variants. And so I decided to, you know, make a Crowbat deck, but with. Instead of Wobbuffet, put out another Pokemon, and we have Dust Tox here. And the reason why I want to feature him is because I haven't actually made a deck with the uh, Delta Plus uh, Ancient Trait. Be mostly because the Pokemon that have it aren't all that great. Um, Jack and I has it, he does the most, but he's really hard to set up. He takes 5 energies and he does 150, which is pretty good, but I mean 5 energies for 150 is kind of a hassle. Doesn't have anything to speed him up, essentially. If he was a fire type Pokemon, oh my god, that'd be so good, because you can just use... Uh, blacksmith, double colorless, something like that, but it, his energy recovery is very specific and it's kind of annoying actually. Uh, but we have Dust Tox and I think Swellow is the other one. Um, they both do the same thing. They, if your opponent is knocked out, if your Pokemon, opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this Pokemon, you get an extra prize card pretty much. So you can knock out basics or like little little, ba little baby Pokemon like Wurmple over here for two prize cards, which is really, really great because Wurmple. That only offers up one, but if you hit him out with Dust Tox, he offers up two. Uh, so his attacks are flat, which is 20, which is... <sighs> for a stage 2, he does 20, come on, that's, that's really bad. At least give him like 40 or something, give him something usable. Uh, but his second attack is probably what we're using the most, is Wind Shard. This attack does 50 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Unfortunately, it's bench. I wish you can do it to anybody, but it's really specific. It says bench, so you really can't do it on active, which is a bummer because... There are times where I want to use on the active, but I can't. You have to really work around it. Um, uh, and the exact opposite for Swallow. Swallow can only hit the active with 50, but you can't hit the bench. And I chose Dust Tox because we're going to snipe with him. Look at those. That's Sniper Eyes right there. We're going to snipe with Dust Tox, and we're going to hopefully take advantage of the Delta Plus ability. Um, so yeah, this is why I'm showcasing this Dust Tox deck. Just because he has Delta Plus ability, and I haven't actually used it yet in any of the videos. I've used the, um, the Evolution one, but... Oh, wait, I haven't used the Evolution one. I don't know if it's the next video if I, have to, if I haven't used the evolution I'll have the next video right there. But I need I need to showcase the Delta Plus. And we have the standard Zobat line. And if you don't know what Zubat does, he pretty much when you evolve him, he puts uh Golbat does two damage counters on any of your Pokemon and any of your opponent's Pokemon, and Crobat does three on any of your opponent's Pokemon. So basically the idea behind it is you're gonna evolve on the sidelines, and then once a Pokemon on the bench is ready to be sniped out, you use Dust Socks and you get rid of uh, the uh, opponent's Pokemon, and then you take two pass cards. And if you're not gonna EX with it, you get three pass cards. So basically, we, let's take for instance, like, for example, we got Wurmple right here, and Wurmple has 60 HP. We can't knock him out with Windshard, but if we evolve to Go Bat and then use Windshard, we can knock him out and get two pass cards. So basically, we're treating Wurmple as a 60 prize, uh, 60 HP EX, which is worse than Jirachi. <laughs> Jirachi is pretty low, but Jirachi had an amazing ability. So that's that's basically the, the concept of the deck and the whole the whole. The whole item lineup and the support round lineup are just here to help speed it up as much as possible. Uh, be forewarned, I don't run Cascoon in this one because I'm, I just try to make space, but I do run four red candy. But however, it is up to you if you want to, you know, cut down something just to put in two, uh, two Cascoons in or something. Um, the reason why is because I have 18 Pokemon already, and that's a lot of Pokemon to run into. It doesn't run cluttered actually all that much. Um, because most of, most of the time, because you're playing down the Pokemon as you get them. Um, but the, the one thing I do recommend is finding out some way to run Dust Tox. Uh, I use Rare Candy. You might want to use Cascoon or something. Um, the only problem for me is sometimes I get Dust Tox without the Rare Candy. So I have other cards to like, help me look for it. But that's, the, that's just the one problem for me. I don't know if you guys want to run Cascoon just to help it easier. Uh, make, it, make it an easier like lineup here, I don't know. But that's pretty much the, um, how the deck runs. You just want to snipe out Pokemon that are not too hard to knock out and basically take price cards off it. We have another card that's from the Rolling Sky sets that I don't haven't used yet. I wanted to use it a long time ago, but I haven't found an actual deck to make it use, usable in. It's the Wide Lens. Damage from this attack, uh, from damage from the attacks that this Pokemon this card is attached to is affected by weakness and resistance um, to your opponent's bench Pokemon. So basically, Wind Shard, when you do it onto, I don't know, let's say Caldeo EX, um, it only does 50. Even though Caldeo is weak to grass, it only does 50 because this line right here do not apply weakness and resistance to bench Pokemon. 
However, with white, with white lands, we ignore that effect and we can go do hit for weakness. So essentially, Darkstalks can hit Caldeo for 100. He can also hit, um, what's his face, Sadatoad for 100. Uh, he, can, he can hit a lot of things. Uh, he can hit Grass Weak Pokemon for 100. And that's kind of what we're, we're trying to take advantage here. Unfortunately, not a lot of Pokemon are weak to Grass, but you know, you never you never know when you run into those Blastoise decks. You can you can just run those run this instead. But that's another card we're showcasing from the Rolling Skies set. Um, I've seen people use it on Glade, but I mean it's kind of a hard deck. To really, it's kind of a hard card to use for Glade EX because you gotta use the Spirit Link and all that good stuff. But anyways, so we have two Acrobikes just to help speed up things. Acrobite always bites me in the bum, so I run two. Uh, we got four rare candies because I'm making sure we get these Dust House out. We got two repeat, ball, uh, repeat balls. These are mostly for the Zubats. You know, we gotta put on a line of Zubats and get a Golbat, then we repeat ball for a Golbat. You know, the usual uh, Corvac Golbat strategy is just to get them out of Swamp and pretty much swarm them with these guys. We got uh, two Super Scoop Ups just to refresh these guys. We got three Trainers Mail just to help us look for the red candy or anything else we need. We got three repeat, uh, Ultra Balls. I might recommend four, uh, but it is three. It's it's pretty good amount, but I, I, if you can find a way, I, I'd recommend four. I guess just for sure getting out these guys when you need them. Uh, we got uh, four versus Zekus, which is another deck that needs four, uh, just because we want to take advantage of the AZ or any kind of support we have. Um, last time was also good for targeting out Pokemon like AC active. You want to get out of the way, you can just last time out of the way and start attacking the bench. Maybe stall for a bit. We got one AZ, and that's obviously for the Crobat. Zubat line. We also got one Cold Rest because we have a big bench, so might as well. We got one lesson, like I just said. That's just for stalling or for knocking out things. You can't really knock out the active with Dust Talks, but you know, just for mostly stalling or knocking out. I don't know. Maybe you put damage on the active with the the Crobat line, and you want to get him out of the way, so you just lesson out another Pokemon and attack the Crobat. Attack the the new the new the, the, the new bench Pokemon with Uh We got three ends. Uh, three ends because three or four is pretty much staple. I mean, I don't have to go too much into why ends are important. And then four Sycamore, they really gotta make a card for end when the new set comes out. I don't know if the Bandit Ring expansion is gonna have. I know they have Ace Trainer and the Hex Maniac, but I, I think they need like a like another kind of like an end supporter type thing. We have three wide scope lands just because we want three Dust Talks. There's no point in really. I mean, you guys you can put four and attack with Crobat, but I mean, it's up to you. Uh, we got four double colors because we need to speed up these guys as much as possible. We got five um, grass energies because he takes one grass energy, which is actually kind of convenient because he takes one. And then you can just load him up with double colors. And because Crobat doesn't really care about a prize, I doesn't really care about an attack uh, cost or an energy cost. He doesn't really, he's not picky. I like him. So you can just run grass. And it's, it works, uh, grass works pretty well because you, you don't have to really run anything else besides grass and double colors. So yeah, that is the deck. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It is from kind of a little bit longer than my usual videos, but hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, it's a good example of why you gotta take your time because I kind of rushed really through it and I misclicked. But I mean, it's a good example of why you gotta just take everything slow and just enjoy the game kind of thing. All right, well, hope you guys enjoy. So we're going against Lupus Warrior. That sounds familiar. Where's that from? Lupus Warrior. Lupus, Lupus, that sounds familiar. Anyways, we're going against him. He's running a, I think it was ground normal uh, psychic, maybe. So he's running Espeon with his own version of uh, sniping the bench. Nice. So obviously, very, ooh, interesting enough. Uh, so he's running a Galade deck with Espeon to snipe the bench. Okay. We finally get to basic. We get our our little basic we'll draw until he has um so we have Siglyph, Gilgar and a full art Galate EX nah that's not bad actually yeah it looks very nice full art it's gonna put white lands on the Gilgar which is not that bad we we actually we actually have resistance I think does that apply resistance all right we have resistance against let me see wait dust talk no I have no resistance all right well we do have some like sort of resistance with Crobat I mean, with the Zubat. So let's go ahead and um, get rid of the Chorus and get rid of. I said the energy, but you never know when you know any energy. Let's get rid of the Acrobite. And then let's get out of Wurmple. Because we need to get our little, our little basic out. 
Put on a Wurmple, put on a Grass Energy onto Wurmple, and a uh, Trainer's Nose, see what we got here. Perfect, we got Wide Lens, which is always good. Put the tra uh, put the Wide Lens onto the Wurmple, just, you know, so we get started. And we might as well end, even though we're getting a better hand for our opponent, but we're getting a better hand. Not, not really a better hand, but we're getting setups as well. I think that is it for us today. I'm gonna end my turn. This Gilgard does something interesting. It is um, Glass Score does Rock Tomb, I think, or something like that. It does Rock Slide, which is pretty good. It's pretty good DPS. So this is, this is basically a more complex version of the Glady, the Mega Glady, Glady X. He uses Gilgard, uh, Glass Score. I'm sorry. He uses Glass Score to spread damage out, more damage than Ferrothorn or well, not, I guess the same amount of damage as Zubat can do out, but Basically, more damage for uh, Gladiac to capitalize on in Mega. So, um, let's see what he's gonna do here. Luckily for us, wait, what are you into? Water? Nah. Luckily for us, Dustox does not care who you are because he will murder you and get two prize cards off of it. Two prize cards off of it. So, let's see. We got. Um, we gotta end again. you lucky. you lucky. I'm gonna go ahead and put the end down. We got a warm pool. You know, I don't know, I don't know how much warm pools we're gonna need. We're gonna trade now just to see. One of the wise lens. That's kind of fine, I guess. We're getting rid of our emptier stuff. Uh, let's get rid of the warm pool and the sycamore. Yeah. Let's get another zoo bat out. Let's see what we got here. We got a dust tox. Two, three. Okay, we got we got plenty of people here. So we're gonna put our Zubat down and we're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna, I can skill dive actually. I'm gonna skill dive onto <laughs> the Galady X just to put damage on him, make him a little easier to take down. Because he does offer up three prize cards. Our opponent is gonna play out Poke Fan Clip so he's gonna get more of the bench setters ready. Uh, luckily for us, we just gonna knock out a Siglyph, a Glilgore, and that little Eevee right there. Eevee is right for the picking. Um, if we can get out our Wormpool right up on now, at this next turn, we can knock out the little, that cute little Eevee, because Eevee cannot take a hit. That's a bummer, but we don't really hit weakness, so it's, that's fine, I guess. Unless he puts a Water Vaporeon, but Tex, he's going to Swift Lunge, which is, he doesn't opt to switch us out, nice. I'm going to put this on Wormpool, because he had it on him to begin with. So we get out, ooh, we don't get... The dust, the dust nor. The dust tox, why? Why have you forsaken me, dust tox? Uh, well, that's a bummer. We're gonna evolve. So we're gonna put our Angie. Mm, you know what? Easier to knock you out with. And then we're gonna go ahead and. I see. Doesn't hit for weakness, but. Let's see. We're gonna scoop up. Nice. We get rid of we got a Crobat. Put this new one. Put on our Zubat. And then we're gonna go ahead and repeat ball for another Zubat. This is why I love this is why I love the bats deck, because you just you're just a douche pretty much with the bats. And then we're gonna super cross. So now everybody's got pretty good well not everybody, but now people got pretty good amount of damage on them, dust talks. I'm assuming as they come out next turn. It's gonna start doing some major work. He's gonna get rid of this Galadix after I don't know, a couple more bites. Actually, with next the next two turns, we need to get him out of the active. And if we do, we can we can knock him out. But seeing how our opponent won't probably won't probably do that. We can knock out. I'll see. Auto does switch. We're gonna put out our Zubat because we're gonna have free cheat cards right about now. We get a dust tox, but we don't have no rare candy. The problems, the problems. It's because the deck has a lot too. Luckily, the bats carry a long way. Let's see. Put out a Zubat. Let's start. Let's start picking at. Let's see. They're all 80. So let's start picking at you. And then we're gonna evolve into Crobat. Start picking at you. And then we're gonna get out our Verse Seeker and we're gonna go to Sycamore. Actually, what's a better play? 4 8. You know what? Let's get our Cold Rest out. 
I hate that. I hate that so much. I just can't pick it up. And then we're gonna chorus. That we don't get rid of anything. We're gonna rare candy into the dust snore. Dust tox. <laughs> dust snore, I'm sorry. We're gonna put out our special energy on this guy. We're gonna evolve into our go bat. And let's go with this Espeon. Because I don't like Espeon, he's too scary. Gonna Oh my god, I misclicked. Uh, uh Dimension Valley, why? That's I guess fine. We're gonna we're gonna see if that misclick mattered a lot. I don't I don't think so. Espeon's gonna do damage to probably the Wurmple, maybe? I don't know. Oh my god, that was a misclick. Oh well. That's the rule. That's that's the game for you. You're gonna misclick sometimes. Dimension Valley, why? Why are you so good? Alright, well, you know, it's not too, too bad, I guess. An Absol. Oh, that's nice. Oh. He won't knock me out unless he uses Espeon. Which actually is okay, because if we get a Crobat, this Gallade's dead. Switch, switch, switch. You, you want to. I know. Ah, oh, he doesn't want to. So we gotta knock out the Espeons. He's gonna burst. I think he's looking for the switch. If you get the switch, you're dead. Yeah, he's looking for it. Ah, oh, he has an end set. Oh, oh, he's looking for. I know he's looking for it. He's looking for that switch. To mention that's good. I guess he's not getting the switch. I want to bet he's looking for the switch that way he can just knock out this gold bat. But what he doesn't know is that's what Dust Tox wants. He's commanding energy switch instead. He needs the other energy though. And I think he just attached to. Oh, he's gonna. Yep. He's gonna retreat, which is okay for us. That's fine. We, we will gladly take that. We just need a Crobat now. And that's a dead. That's a dead Gallade. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. One dust tox can can I think can do this. Let's put our energy on to our crowbat, you never know when tough's gonna hit the wall. And let's get out a crowbat. Yes. We have two more crowbats too, and more dust tox, let's go. So we're gonna say goodbye to that Galady X because he's he did his did his job. He he knocked out a couple Pokemon. Let's get out a... Uh, What's better, disruption? I don't know, I might as well. Get on N. We're gonna draw six, draw five, disruption, somewhat. We're gonna rare candy into our Gallade. I mean, <laughs> our Dust Tox. Sorry, all these names are really getting to me. And we're gonna Wind Shard onto that Gallade EX, and this is the power of plus. You get three prize cards. So just like that, we're pretty much halfway through the game in one turn. We got another crowbat out, which is not a big deal. We need an AZ or something. Just to. He's gonna poison me. Uh, just to get back something. But now. I'm asleep. No. Uh, but now we can just hit these guys right here, or. We can. The good thing about it is Espeon doesn't hit for very much. He puts down another base, uh, another EX. He puts on an Absol. And a Glade. Okay. So another Glade is coming down, but I think it's already too late. I can just snipe out these guys. These guys already took too much damage, even with the misclick. I think Misclick actually gonna help. No, no, they're already at 50. But that's what happens. Misclicks, misclicks, misclicks happen. It's, it's, he's gonna side alert. So wake up. <sighs> Why you no wake up? We get a scoop up, <laughs> which, which might be worth it actually. Let's see. How many rare kinds have I used? One, two. I have. Two more, so I, I have one right in my hand, so you know what? Let's see if it's worth it. It is worth it. I'm gonna do it. Take him back, put on the new active. We're gonna put on our worm pool. We're gonna put down our grass energy on our worm pool. We're gonna put a wide scope on our worm pool. White lands, I mean, and we're gonna snipe out that Siglyph. Boom, Siglyph dies. We take two prize cards, and Dust Tox does not care. Look at him. This is the face of not caring. That is the face right there. Actually, he's got this like cheddar cheese eyes. You know, it's actually a cool design. I like Dust Tox. I mean, I don't, I didn't play the game was from, so I never actually like found out about him until like way after. But I like him. He's a cool little Pokemon. I like, I like, the I guess I like purple. I like, I like purple flying things. I love Crobat. Even in the game, I always have one Crobat. Doesn't matter what, what gen I, I um, 
well, I guess I can't have him first gen, but it doesn't matter where, where, what game I have, I'm gonna have a crowbar on my team. He gave off some mega glare, I didn't even see that. But I think it's over, I think it's already pretty much done. He's gonna, he could switch out and do Unwavering Blade and, and do 110 to Dustox, but I'm still gonna knock out that Espeon. I mean, there's not, there's not, there's nothing, there's not, there's nothing, ah, there's nothing stopping me from knocking out this Espeon. So he's gonna do the big 110, but that is GG's. It was a good game, man. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna go ahead and wind shard onto the damage Espeon, and bam, we have our victory. That is Dustox. It is a fun deck. Um, usually it doesn't take that long. Doesn't, usually it doesn't take that long to get Dustox. I don't know why it took that long for this one, but it was a pretty fun deck either way because. I don't know, you ever... Yeah, 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 I leveled up. <laughs> yeah, plus a storm. You guys are seeing me be scrub right now because I just... I never do those. Anyways, it took 11 minutes, which is actually not that bad. Um, yeah, I, I, the plus po the plus ability, it doesn't really have any Pokemon I have, can utilize it too well. Except for, I guess, Dust Talks and maybe... I guess you want to make this a simpler deck, you can use Swallow. Or Swallow? Swallow? Swallow. I think his name is Swallow. And he has the same, about the same attack, but he just doesn't hit bench, and that's why like Dustox he hits the bench, so I can just avoid the main attacker if I want to. If he's safe, if he, say for instance he's like I don't know, uh, a Dragon Ray or something that has trouble getting energy on the field, I can just snipe out the Hydreigon or the Rishrams or whatever is in the whatever's there. Or I'm fighting, um, I'm fighting the other Rayquaza, the bench warmer. Um, basically, they hit the. Um, What's it called? Emerald Break. Uh, I can just hit the, the Altarias or the Swap Blues or something. Just for the same, about the same effort. I get two prize cards off of it. So that's what I like Dust Talks. The plus ability is amazing, but they just gave it to not that great Pokemon. Like Dust Talks and Swallow, 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 Swallow are probably the best ones to have it. Uh, unfortunately, Dragonite does have. He does hit a lot, but I'm having a hard time making that deck run. Um, this one is more or less you have fun with it. The Dragonite one is you kind of get frustrated, and it's it's not with it's not a problem with Dragonite. It's a problem with Togekiss actually, because every time I use it, I don't have enough. I don't get energy. I don't get really that much energy off of it. So I'm trying to find a way to balance it out without Johnny and energy, which is a problem. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the Dust Talk deck. It is a fun deck. I recommend it if you're just playing like casuals um, with your friends. If you don't want to use your uh, Seismic Puff deck or something, I don't know. I recommend it. It does do actually not that bad with Sanatote as well because you hit for weakness and so it doesn't do too bad. If you get a, 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 a fast start, if you get if you go first, you you be okay since you need to do all this evo uh, evolving kind of things. But after all, you, you'll be okay. Um, you don't really need the tools too much. It has very candy, but I put that in just to limit the deck. You you might want to put in this, um, the Cascoon uh, if you want to. I just didn't put any. I put rare candy just to limit the deck. To like a smaller, a smaller like kind of space, but I mean, if you want to swap cards, go for it. But this is my Dust Talk deck. It's pretty cool. I like it. So if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment on what other deck you want to see. Um, as long as it's not too like rare, like I don't have Dust Norse, so I, don't, I can't do those. But as long as you guys recommend like something a little easier to make, I can make it for you guys and just have a little video of you of it of it um, playing. And I'm gonna start doing some things like where I put. Uh, where I put um, I guess, uh, well they're codes, but I, I uh, Roaring Sky codes. Somewhere in the video, because I want to start giving away like things to you guys. I have these Pokemon things I have in my 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 closet for the longest time. I haven't found a way to actually like just had a way to give give them away. But I'm gonna start putting like codes somewhere around the video. I'll probably just hide them just to make just to be a troll. I had them around. It won't be in this one, so don't look in this one. But I'll probably in the next one. I'll, I'll mention it somewhere that I'll, uh, there'll be codes. That way you guys can get some codes out and have some time, have some fun with it as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like and comment. If you guys even liked it a lot, you can subscribe. Helps a lot. We're almost at 200, which is actually pretty cool. I never, never thought we can get 200. It'd be really fun. Um, for 200, I'll for sure have some kind of thing to give away. I don't know. I have, I collect a bunch of things, so I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. I don't know, I'll mention it and then I'll do something. I don't know exactly. But I will have a giveaway for 200. Um, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it and have a great day.